What is up guys? It's actually a very interesting day today. Uh, I was just looking over YouTube a little bit and I found that NCT Dream uploaded a new song and I actually had to laugh out a little bit because the song is called Hot Sauce and without a joke I was actually looking for hot sauces on Amazon because I'm a real fan of hot sauce. I think hot sauce always adds so much flavor to your food especially if you like it spicy and I always think that hot sauce just adds a little bit more of a kick to your life. So I really hope that NCT Dream with hot sauce is also going to add a kick to the K-pop world and it's all just a big coincidence isn't it? That means it's my day. But like always guys, before we get into the video, if you have any recommendations of what I should review next, then please put it in the comments below. I love to see your comments. I love to see your feedback. And I would say let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into NCT Dream with some hot sauce. So before we get into the video, I just want to say I only heard the song once when I was listening to it on Spotify and I did not see the video. So again, I'm really curious what they're going to give to us. But so far from the first picture, it looks very spicy. It looks a bit Mexican, looks a bit Hispanic. I like it. Let's see actually what it has to offer. Very nice color palette actually. For me, this is a very, like I already said, a very Hispanic look. Um, it's normally like a filter what they use in Mexican movies, a very yellow look. It's a little bit more spicy, it's a little bit more warm and it also makes you more warm as a viewer. And it's also interesting that someone is wearing blue, a very cold color in contrast to everything else, but it still fits really nicely with the overall picture. Okay, I just want to investigate here a little bit. The first thing that I notice is that all of this, I don't know if how much you can see on screen, but everything you see here is basically a real prop. You can really see the difference between this and the background. The thing that gives it away the most for me is literally this wall here. If you look at it, the sun is just a little bit different compared to what they use in the background. Whether this is a green screen or not, I'm not very sure, but you can see that the lighting is just not... 100% accurate. This is way too bright while this is a little bit way too dark while it's a very, very, what is it? A blue day, very sunny day. It's a little bit, the focus is here, like this is fine, but this wall is the only thing that gives it away a little bit. Wait, what? Was that a reverse shot or was that really something? I wanna, I wanna see. So if you go backwards, okay, we're just gonna go skip it backwards. You can see that this is just reversed. He's literally just throwing it backwards. But then again, it's very interesting what's happening up here. Is this a real? It just jumps a little bit too far here for me, no? Because if you compare this, the distance is shorter while this distance is quite hard. It could be a fake prop actually. That's interesting though. Very nice sped up piece of footage here. I think it's always interesting to look at these kind of footages. When people speed things up, I think it's really cool. I love time lapses generally. Very nice effect here. All what they did here, you can see that there's a bottle at the moment. And what they did is they attached the camera actually to the bottle. So it's always static. And it always allows for the bottle to stay in the exact same place as possible. I mean, all you have to imagine is that, let's say this is the bottle and the camera is mounted with some sort of clamp right on top of it. So it's always gonna look at the bottle with the same focal length and same focus. Really cool. I'm not really sure if that's a bottle though. To me, this looks more like a glass. I think they're trying to mimic here a bottle, but it's a little bit, I don't know. It looks a little bit different than the bottle itself. Can we see the bottle itself quickly again? Yeah, it, it's way different. You can see that the bottle is actually square and the, here you can see that it's actually rounded off. Yeah. They tried, but yeah, to me, I would have made sure that the inside of what they're looking through right now is the exact same form as the spicy bottle, hot sauce bottle. but I really like the aesthetic of the entire video. It's very natural and I like that it's also with a good focus on the members. It's not like super creative, super crazy, super crazy effects on top of each other. It's really that you're able to focus on the members and actually the location itself. And I like the set itself. The set is really beautiful to look at.
very nice shots. I also like the choreography itself with it. And again, I'm not a dancer, but if we look at the choreography and how it's filmed, they did a fantastic job here. Everyone is in focus. Everyone is getting their time to shine. And I think that's always important when you look at groups. You should make sure that it's a nice wide angle lens and that there are some effects going through it, you know, different elements to keep it dynamic. But here, everything is actually great in focus. Very nice little pan, actually, because I think this is all filmed with hand. And most likely it is. Let me have a look again. Okay, this is for sure filmed with hand. But I like how that the camera moves with when they turn with their bodies. Very nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest, if this was a real bottle or a box full of... Oh, you guys cannot even see it. But behind me, there's basically a box. Uh, let me put it on screen really quick so you guys can see it. So you can see that these boxes are here. And if you look at him carrying it... These are supposed to be full boxes, of course, but look at the wiggle room that you see there, basically. Should we play it again? It wiggles a little bit too much for a box that's full of hot sauce. I mean, it's fine, but they could have just made it sure that it didn't wiggle as much just to sell the, the entire look a little bit more, a little bit more of a realistic element because a box full of glass is heavy and it's not light. Okay, I want to say something here. The one thing that I really don't like is when people use green screens or these crazy effects and it doesn't look like as if they were matched really good with one another. Here, it looks really, really, really good. It looks as if they were part of the background. The lighting is accurate, the colors look great, and it all matches beautifully with one another and it stays within the same tone, which is very important. Fantastic job here. A lot of companies actually fail to nail this. For some reason, they cannot accurately color grade this all together. It's really, really tough. It just takes a lot of time, but they nailed it on this dot here. They did a good job. Okay, I just want to say one thing. If this was a real hot sauce, would you buy it? Put it in the comments below. And I'm going to tell you, if it was a real hot sauce, I would buy it because I like hot sauce i think it is really really good and like i already said it just adds a little bit more flavor to the food and i love things spicy i love a little bit of a kick in my life very nice actually And it looked really good. The CGI done in this video is not too complicated. It's all it's only a bottle added in a world, okay? It does take some time to do it. I'm not saying it's just done within a minute, but what I'm saying is they kept it simple, but they kept it good. Better do one thing really good than a lot of things really bad. Good nice here. Really nice actually what they did there as well. Are we gonna see that room again? I, I just wanna point out this room. It looks so cool with the flames. I mean, it looks a bit like those 90 flames, you know, that you used to see on cars to make cars look a little bit faster. But what they did here, they basically had these LED panels. And what they did is they added these, these cutouts to it with the flames on it to give it this awesome look. But with the LED lights giving these crazy effects, it gives a really, really nice effect as well for the entire video. I've never seen someone do this with LED panels, but it looks really good. Like, just have a look at that. It, let's have a sec. It looks really good. Just agree with me. This looks fantastic. And what I also like here is that they didn't go back into a CGI world and they never went into one. They kept it all in real locations. I think it also looks better. This is simple. I'm not saying this is very complicated, but it just looks much better than a really crappy well, green screen in the background. I'm going to be honest about that as well. Also very nice with the face, no face softening going on, not too much makeup, a little bit of makeup on his eye, a little bit on his, well, basically his eye again, a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, but it just adds a little bit more to the scene. It just adds a little bit more color and it, it's something very subtle, but it just adds that little bit of a oomph to the entire video. I would have not considered adding it myself if I was on set, but whoever came up with the idea, it looks good. It doesn't look bad and neither does it look like a mistake. Plus it adds a little bit more to it because it fits with his shirt. A 
a lot of beauty shots coming up right now. I think beauty shots are very important to the K-pop world, and I tell you why. I need to think about it a little bit, but the 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 center of the point is basically sorry. I had a little bit of a brain freeze here. But the point of it is, is that when there is too many beauty shots, the video, in my opinion, just becomes a little bit too focused on the members itself, and it doesn't really show their skill set. But if we get a little bit at the end, and now we're basically at th what three fourth of the video, we're nearly coming to the end, and we get a little bit of a fan service here, and I think this is great. But when it's nonstop fan service, it really just materializes the group and it doesn't really give them any aesthetic while well, here they show their skill set and that's something that i noticed with nct dream or generally with nct any of the groups they always do a very good job with idolizing their skill set and not just fan servicing the audience all the time and i'm again i'm going to refer to blackpink i think this is a lot of fan service non-stop good shot though Really nice. It's a really good dance video just. Like it's a really fun dance video and that's how I'm going to summarize this I think. It's just a really fun video to watch and see the dancing and in all different locations and NCT Dream doing the thing. Looks really cool. Imatu something my dish. Okay, I will say that is really cool. I'm happy that they made their own, well, item, you know, for the video. It reminds me a little bit of Atlantis when we go into the store and they have all these items with their name on it as well. It's really cool. It's the same thing like here. I think it's cool when groups themselves be a little bit creative and of course the production behind it and actually sell off an item. And like I said, if this was a real hot sauce, would you buy it? And how much would you pay for it? I'm curious about that. Put it in the comments below. So guys, that was NCT Dream with Hot Sauce. And I'll just be honest, I think it's a really, really fun video to watch. Is it overly complicated? No. Is it something that blows my mind away? No. Is it fun to watch? Hell yeah. I think this is one of those videos where they really focus on the group themselves and they try to, again, show that they are having a good time. Some moments did seem a little bit forced. It seems like they're not really good at acting, which is totally fine, of course. These are not actors, they're singers, they're live performers, but they did give a really fun performance here. And that's what I like, especially during the Corona time. I think this is much more entertaining to watch instead of people showing what they have, these long shots in these artificial cars and, yeah, it looks nice on camera, but in all honesty, people miss going to shows and this is what you call a performance. If I have to give this video a rating, I'm going to give it a nice 8 out of 10. Why? It's not groundbreaking, it's nothing too over the top, but it's still a very fun video to watch. And if there was one thing that I would improve, well, maybe just again, less green screen and do these things in an open world. I think open worlds are just fantastic and they had a lot of opportunity as well to play a little bit more with the hot sauce. But for the rest, if this was a dance video, they nailed it. For a dance video, this is a 8, 10 out of 10. But what do you guys think? Did you enjoy the video with hot sauce and NCT Dream? Did you not enjoy it? It, put it in the comments below i would love to hear your comments and like always if you have any videos that you want to recommend to me put it in the comments below as well because i'm curious what you want me to review next but for now guys thank you very much for watching and like always if you didn't yet make sure you hit the like button make sure you're subscribed and of course i'll see you on the next video so i'll catch you then and buy some hot sauce it makes your life a little bit better Bye bye